doing fine welcome back to my channel thank you so much for returning back here i really appreciate your love your support god bless you but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please subscribe to this channel before you leave and when you subscribe remember to click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you'll always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so dear friends in our today's video i am going to be sharing with you how to know if a white man on online dating apps is using you or is about to use you and i've said the white man because i know most of you who are watching me are interested in interracial dating but if not just put a man of any color that you are interested in so friends the truth is that when you are on online dating apps searching for love and maybe you're interested in a white man or any man of any color and then you start chatting with this guy everything is going very well if that man is using you or is about to use you won't shout at you and be like i'm using you girl <laughs> or i'm about to use you no he will not do that but what will tell you a guy is using you are his actions and what will tell you a guy is about to use you are the signs so that is why i am here today to share with you those signs or those actions if you're dating a guy and he is already using you this video will be like wake up girl stop this guy from using you and if you're chatting with a guy he is about to use you then this video will be like don't let this guy use you girl <laughs> so without wasting much of your time let us jump into this video so friends sign number one or action number one that will tell you a white guy or any guy of any color on online dating apps is about to use you or is using you we are going to be talking with examples and imagination because we are talking about online dating so we imagine you are on online dating apps searching for love and then this white guy or any guy of any color comes to you writes you that he is so interested in you he would like to know you more so that you can have a love relationship but surprisingly after accepting instead of getting to know each other this guy will start bringing some ideas which will be the main focus of your conversation so friends there are so many things or ideas a guy can bring to you and they become the main focus but i'm going to be starting with number one which has been a very very big problem and some ladies don't see it as a problem some ladies don't see it as a guy is using them because <laughs> remember at first he came as looking for a relationship so number one is money you have been chatting with this guy and then suddenly he tells you that he has traveled for work and where he is there is no network which means he can't access bank services and because you are a girlfriend you are the only person who can help him you are the only person that he trusts you are the only person that he can rely on because you are in love guys <laughs> dear ladies when you hear something like that don't buy it no matter how this guy has been telling you he's gonna marry you soon he's coming to africa i don't know to jamaica to the caribbean to see you or see your parents don't send even a coin when you are online dating apps chatting with a guy if he brings money talks run just like those guys that you read their profiles they are like if you ask me money i'm not going to give you money but block you so you should do the same to avoid being used for money so example number two we are still on money you have been on online dating apps chatting with this guy it has been a month he tells you sweet sweet words you know promising words promising you the future but you haven't even made a video call he sends you maybe his photos the photos of his family that's it and then suddenly after knowing that he has got you here on the palm of his hand then he brings an idea of the two of you to invest in a certain business 
because you love this guy so much you trust him due to the words that he has been telling you you haven't seen even the actions you accept to invest money girl if you do that i'm telling you you are scammed the guy is a scammer and unfortunately these days scammers show their faces show the faces of their families <laughs> so don't be like oh my god i saw his mother i saw his father i saw his sister <laughs> it doesn't matter because scammers of these days oh my god they've got guts not like those days whereby scammers could hide behind the camera and scam people. No, these days they put their face up front <laughs> and scam you. Never trust a stranger and start investing your money. You will lose your money just like that. That guy was using you to get money. The easiest way for him to get to you was to use sweet words be like he wants a relationship with you so in a situation like that dear beautiful ladies you are on online dating apps i repeat to search for love so if this guy came to you told you that he is interested in having a love relationship with you it should be only that you are not on online dating apps to search for a business partner no <laughs> so don't accept if he tells you i want you to invest some money so that we can have a better future be like not now i don't have any money let's talk about our relationship let's talk about love and because this guy is not interested in having a love relationship with you he's gonna lose it and block you the next minute that is how to get rid of scammers that is how to get rid of guys who wants to use you to get money from you <laughs> so i told you that i'm talking out of experience actually this happened recently and i think this lady is here or watching me <laughs> but she has learned her lesson so this guy was on instagram and they received a message from a cute cute guy because she sent me the photos of a guy yes he is very very cute and young so they started chatting and the guy was like he is interested in her and they started like a relationship but they have never made a video call they could only voice call or send each other messages photos that's it and after chatting for a month this guy came with an idea of investing some money in a certain business and because this girl was in love already she fell into a trap invested five hundred dollars <laughs> and the guy told her that he has invested ten thousand dollars <laughs> in that business <laughs> oh my god i'm laughing because it's the business that does not exist because if you cannot confirm something you shouldn't be in it and the truth is she never confirmed if it is true that guy invested ten thousand dollars in that business but gave out her money so after investing money in the business that the boyfriend the online boyfriend instagram boyfriend proposed they kept on chatting and the guy could even send the photos of his family i'm telling you they have no shame so they continued like that and then he came again was like you need to invest more money the money that you invested is not enough so as the lady was looking for money to invest again in that business the guy started being impatient telling her that you need to do it very fast this money is needed so that you don't lose the money that you invested before but this girl has been watching my videos decided to write to me when she wrote to me before she ended <laughs> the whole story i was like girl i feel sorry for you because the guy is a scammer but at first it was so hard to convince her she told me bella i don't know i've seen his family everything was real we were talking of the future <laughs> i told her no it's not true 
Because if a guy tells you he's interested in you, he will stick in building your relationship. Not to talk about investing money whereby you haven't even met yet. So to cut the story short is that she went on Instagram, you know, to reply to that guy that she was still looking for the money and found his account was disabled <laughs> she wasn't seeing their chats anymore and she came to me panicking being like bella i wish i had his email we could have continued chatting there i was like that account is disabled maybe it's instagram that did that someone reported him oh he has finished his game with you that is why he decided to disable his account but it is so surprising because he was waiting for that money i told her if he comes back maybe with another account don't fall for it don't send him money anymore just tell him let's just concentrate on our love let us build our relationship and i was very sure that guy was going to block her i also told her to ask him to help her invest the money like lend her that money and then she will pay him let's say next year <laughs> you know just to chase that karma away she was like okay bella thank you so much i am going to get back to you when he returns <laughs> and i am still waiting so dear ladies i'm telling you all this to shine your eyes don't accept a guy to use you just to get your money example number three we are still on money guys please wake up don't accept a guy to use you to get your money the money that you work hard for it is so so sad I remember making a story of the dating apps that scams women, dating apps that are not genuine, but still you guys have been going back to those dating apps and paying your money. Before you pay for a dating app, please do some research because those dating apps that I shared here, if you go on YouTube, search for their reviews you will hear horrible horrible reviews people crying losing their money in those dating apps i know how important it is to find a partner that has got a very good job a partner that is financially stable but you wanting that shouldn't push you to start spending your money so that you can find that man no because I told you one time, there is a story I will share with you, but still there are some things missing to complete that story. But I promise you, I am going to share that story of a lady who found a very rich, rich guy on these normal dating apps without paying even a coin. Because a rich guy won't be like showing off, look, I am rich, I've got this amount in my account, or I have got lots of properties. He will not tell you. So those dating apps that brings cute, cute guys with good jobs, telling you that they are so rich so that you can subscribe, chat with those guys, it's a lie. I'm repeating this and I'm telling you this out of love from the bottom of my heart guys it really hurts to hear a lady telling you i've lost five thousand dollars on a dating app i've lost two thousand dollars on a dating app whereby that lady had lots of other responsibilities where she could have used that money to solve her problems or to take care of her responsibilities. Because what happens is you go to that dating app, you subscribe, pay your money, then you start chatting. If that guy sends you an image, opening that image, money goes. If he sends you a video, opening that video, that money goes. Even there is a lady who lost lots of money in that dating app. One day we were talking and laughing about it because it has passed. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy she overcame that. And soon I'm going to be sharing her success story. And for her, she believed she was going to find the one in that dating app. So as she was chatting with one of the guys, the guy could tell her, I've sent you something very, very special. You open it. <laughs> 
because opening that something special it costs a lot of money so she could run and be like oh my god i can't wait to open that something special <laughs> that he sent me go opening that letter nothing special <laughs> nothing at all just no sense but the money has gone so you keep chatting like that playing those games sending you videos sending you photos sending you emails and you keep paying if they tell you to subscribe you have to pay 49 dollars it won't be only 49 dollars in a month it will go to 300 dollars in a month so you'll keep chatting and these guys are so sweet i've got a very good business language <laughs> that will keep you in the line to keep chatting with them when you tell them let's go out of this dating app that now we love each other we like each other they will tell you i cannot go out of this dating app and i told you guys no matter how rich a guy is won't just stay there and accept to keep on losing money whereby he has found the one it doesn't make sense at all so he is telling you he is paying or you imagine this guy is also paying just like the way you are paying but you can't confirm that how can you confirm that that guy is paying same same money you can't but it is very clear enough he doesn't want to leave that dating app chat with you outside the app because it is his business place it is his office it is high time you guys wake up i advise you not to pay for a dating app but if you decide to pay for a dating app then not those stupid subscriptions if a guy sends a letter credits go if a guy sends a video credits go if he sends an image credits go so it's not only 49 dollars don't subscribe to such kind of a dating app if you want to subscribe or if you want to pay money on a dating app then it should be a fixed amount of money per month if it is 20 dollars it's only $20 you will do everything on that dating app then telling you $20 and then at the end of the month you have spent $150 it's a scam so friends be very very careful when you are on online dating apps because some of the dating apps or dating sites are using you to get money from you without you knowing and that's why your sister is here <laughs> To shine your eyes and stop that so now we are going to action number two or sign number two that will tell you a white guy or any man of any color on online dating apps is about to use you or is using you so friends you are on online dating apps and then you come across this guy he is so cute and then writes you a message tells you that you are so beautiful you would like to get to know you more you accept to start chatting your convo is flowing everything is good 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 you keep on chatting every day and he tells you sweet sweet words gives you the attention to an extent you fall in love with him something that is wrong told you never fall in love with a guy or never attach yourself emotionally with a guy that has not shown you yet the actions never do that but you know sometimes you do mistakes and be like i can't command my heart <laughs> i just fell in love that's it so yes you fell in love with this guy and then he and then he comes and be like i want you to make my night special i miss you so much i love you so much send me your nude photos i know i've been telling you don't send your nude photos but some guys will trick you will make you fall in love with them so that they can easily manipulate you yes girl so when you start being like no i can't send you my nude photos he will tell you then you don't love me if you don't send me those nude photos then it's over between us or some of them will even ask you for online sex if you say no they will tell you you don't love me and for a long distance relationship to work we have to do it <laughs> but if you're not ready then bye forget about me don't fall for it 
if he tells you bye, tell him bye too. Because guys, love does not threaten. You can't threaten to leave me just because I refuse to send you my nude photos and then tell me that you are so much in love with me. No, love is not like that. Or some of them won't ask nude photos, won't ask online sets. Everything will go very well. They get married to you very, very fast. And then when you arrive in their countries, that is when they will start treating you very, very bad, put you under their control. And if you try to talk, then they will threaten you that I'm going to return you to your country. By the way, this has been happening to lots of ladies that got married to guys who are very, very toxic. I remember telling one of the ladies that if he tells you again that I'm going to return you to your stupid country, tell him, yes, I am ready. Put my divorce on the table and the ticket. I'm going to go back home because home is home, guys. But the main point here is a guy shouldn't threaten you to do the things that you don't want to do just because he's telling you I'm going to return you back home or our relationship or our marriage is going to end if you don't do this. Even guys, if you remember, we have a very good example of a story time I shared with you of a Tanzanian lady who is in Spain who asked for an asylum just because a guy was telling her if you go back to Tanzania then that will be the end of us. She was so scared the guy that she loved was going to leave her and asked for an asylum. But what happened after the guy started using her and at the time a guy knows that he can control you, he can threaten you on something and then you react or you accept. He will keep on doing like that. So for you to stop it, just like I told you, if he tells you it's over between us, tell him you don't care, just like the way he doesn't care. If he tells you I'm returning you back home, yes, let me go back home. He's gonna respect you. He will never try again to threaten you or to use you just like he wants. Action number three or sign number three that will tell you a white guy or any guy of any color on online dating apps is about to use you or is using you is when the guy always complains of you spending little than the way he spends in your relationship. I want to give you a little bit of an example. I think I talked about this in the past. So there was this Nigerian girl, actually she's a very good friend of mine. I've been helping her out on online dating apps. So she found a guy online, everything was fine. Then they planned to meet, the guy went to Nigeria. After reaching in Nigeria, they booked for an apartment, stayed in that apartment. Then after the vacation, the guy returned to Europe. He was European. So after this guy returning to Europe, to his country, he started complaining the girl not spending enough money when they were on a vacation. He was even complaining of the apartment where they stayed. He was like, if you could have added more money, we could have stayed in a very fancy apartment. <laughs> you did not contribute enough. I spent the more. Then they talked of the girl going to his country. You are going to pay for your ticket if you come to see me. And if we live together, I can't just have someone who will just eat my sweat. You will have to go to work and contribute on everything. So guys, I always say it openly that I am against 50-50, but 50-50 relationships exist and I respect you guys to choose 50-50 kind of a relationship. But my problem here is if a guy truly loves you, he won't complain on every single penny that he has spent on you. That's a very, very big problem. And a guy who is already talking about you contributing, talking about you spending little, that means that relationship is based on money and sharing bills. You can't just have a misunderstanding at the beginning of your relationship concerning money, concerning sharing bills. It is so, so clear. Clear, guys 
So open your eyes, don't accept these white men or any man of any color to use you for splitting the bills because we don't know this guy's real life. Maybe he has got a difficulty in keeping on his life moving. So he wants someone to share the bills with. That is why he came to you to use you. And guys, that girl's situation, actually, <laughs> it is so, so funny. Cause when a guy starts a relationship with you, he wants to impress, you know? <laughs> But for this guy, he wasn't impressing at all. Actually, he was destroying everything by telling her, I can't just bring you in my country and feed you. You just stay at home like that. I work for my money so, so hard. <laughs> <laughs> so guys if you see such kind of a sign no matter the guy is very very cute no matter the guy is a white guy and you want a white guy do not go into that relationship because he is only going to use you dear sister sign number four or action number four that will tell you a white guy or any guy of any color on online dating apps is about to use you dear sister is when this guy makes it clear to you that you come the last when it comes to things and people that are so important to him but sadly sometimes guys i don't know we get blinded maybe the guy is giving you money the guy is giving you attention the guy has promised to change your life then you accept such kind of a relationship but dear sister, if you accept, just know that that guy is going to use you. Or maybe you got married and then he makes it clear to you that you come the last. Dear sister, from that moment, start planning your way out of that marriage. You know, guys, I don't want to break your marriage. But if it is to tell you the truth, as a sister who loves you, I have to tell you the truth. So with this, I'm also going to talk with example. These are real examples of things that have been happening. I always give you examples not to gossip about people, no. Just to learn from what they're going through, what they went through, so that we don't find ourselves in their situations that are bad. So the first example, actually it happened so recently. <laughs> this lady found love on online dating apps and we thought, it was a success one i was about to share her story but when she told me things in details like no i can't mislead my people I told them it's a success story where i see it's not gonna end well so the girl was invited december 2022 and after arriving here, everything, you know, seemed very good. The guy took the goodies, <laughs> took her shopping. And when they started talking more, you know, getting to know him more and more, then this guy started saying, I have like an obsession of collecting watches and my watches are very, very ex." Expensive. I have a fifty thousand dollars watch. Another one is twenty thousand dollars watch. Very very expensive watches, and made it clear that that one comes number one in his life. That is something that is very very important to him. And at the time the girl was in his house, he could always go to see if his watches are still there. <laughs> Oh my god, some guys can be sick here in the mind. So he told her that that one comes number one in his life. Number two comes his cars, his expensive cars. <laughs> then comes his money in his bank account. After that, other things will follow. So you tell me, dear beautiful ladies, will that guy not treat her like an object? He will, cause comes the last. <laughs> after the watches, after his cars, after his money, then the girlfriend. So I asked her, have you guys talked about, you know, the future? If this guy plans to get married, maybe. The guy was like, no, 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 no. I don't think of getting married. I kept on asking her more questions about their relationship and about the guy. I came to realize that the guy is only using her for his sexual desires, nothing more. Because if I am in a relationship with you, you can't tell me just clearly like that, 
that I come the last <laughs> after everything that you like and people and people that are so important to you. This also is a same if you find a guy on online dating apps had a wife, maybe they had kids. All the time you see or you hear this guy talking about his kids, how he is going out with kids. When kids are around, you can't call me. I won't be available because I am with the kids. My kids are so important. Yes, we know your kids are very, very important. But remember, I am your girlfriend. You should give me a priority too. We have another example concerning this, a guy putting you the last. If you remember Mary's story, she got married to that guy. The guy was alcoholic, but made it clear that he will never stop drinking because that is his lifestyle and he is okay about it. No matter how Mary tried to convince him that it is for his own good to stop drinking every single day, the guy was like, leave me alone. You don't know what you're talking about. I don't want a woman to control me or you accept me like this, or it's over between us. But when you look into Mary's situation very, very well, she is the same woman that sacrificed a lot, sacrificed her job. She had to resign to follow the husband in France. Same, same woman that left her parents and friends, people that are so, so important to her and follow the man in France. Then arrive in France, a guy is telling her that he cannot stop drinking because he likes that. He can't take that sacrifice of stop drinking so that they can build their marriage. That's a selfish man. That's a man that puts you the last. You don't mean anything to that guy because if you really mean a lot to that guy, he's going to try his best to make you happy, he's gonna try his best to build your relationship or your marriage and also take your sacrifices to respect you for the sacrifices you made to be with him. But if he doesn't see that, that guy is a user, took you from your country or married you to make his life more comfortable and doesn't care of how you feel or your opinion. Number five, that will tell you a white guy or any man of any color on online dating apps wants to use you. This is when it comes to your communication. So you are on online dating apps and then this guy writes to you, you start chatting, then you go maybe to WhatsApp after exchanging WhatsApp numbers. Then from there, this guy starts telling you his problems. It is only about his life, about his kids, about the ex-wife, how they are fighting, about his job. Maybe he has got problems at work, but never wants to ask you if you have got problems too in your life, if you're going through anything. Guys, everyone has got problems. So you can't only be discussing about his life it is only about him. He wants you to listen to him. When you see that, remember I told you some guys stay on online dating apps just because they are lonely, just because they are looking for someone to talk to. But that doesn't mean that guy is seriously interested in creating something serious with you. Nothing. So you should be intelligent enough to stop that immediately. I'm gonna give you another example. Actually, it happened yesterday. So there is this dear sister of mine. She is in America. I've been helping her on online dating apps and she has been so, so good to me, guys. Very generous to me and I thank her for that. I know, sis, you gonna watch this. <laughs> So she wrote to me, was like, sis, today I am so, so busy, but there is a guy on Afro introduction. I want you to go and chat with him because I can't chat with him for now. Then later you will give me the feedback. So when I got her message, I thank God I was free because it was lunchtime. So I used that time to go on Afro introduction on her account and chat with the guy. I went through their previous chats and he seemed very serious 
there was no a single red flag. So I started replying to his messages and then he came with a story of being so much interested in dating a black woman. But not only a black woman, a black African woman. Cause he said before was married to a black American woman and no longer interested in black American women. Right now he wants a black African woman. So when I saw that I was like, boy, you're gonna fall in my trap. So I had to set a trap for him in the questions that I asked him. So I had to ask him, apart from a black African woman being black, what else attracts him in a woman? So this fool, <laughs> I'm gonna call him a fool. He was like, you know, black women are so strong and dominant. When I saw dominant, I was like, boy, here we go. So I asked him, you are interested in dominant women? He was like, yes, I'm interested in dominant women. Are you submissive? Are you dominant? <laughs> no, I am not dominant. I am not submissive. I will respect a man who will respect me. I wish you luck in your search to find that dominant, you know, submissive woman. So guys, it ended just like that. Simple as that and in a very short period of time. <laughs> but if I had, you know, entertained him and keeping on being like, okay, let's see how it goes, whereby I have seen I can't be submissive, I can't be dominant <laughs> in a relationship, it was going to be a wastage of time. That means that guy was going to use me or was going to use my friend just to chat. Because previously he had said he is so lonely. So some of these lonely fool guys will go on online dating apps just to waste your time. And for me, I call that using you. So when you're chatting with a guy on online dating apps, then he's like, I'm so much interested in black African queen. Ask him why and listen to the reasons that he's gonna give you. Cause some of them have got very, very bad motives of dating or getting married to a black woman. Sign number six or action number six that will tell you, will show you that a white man or any man of any color on online dating apps is using you or is about to use you. We imagine here we go again. <laughs> you are chatting with a guy on online dating apps. Everything goes well. This guy comes to Africa, all good, good. And you guys get married. When you get married, you come together to his country. But before you had talked that when you get married, you are going to work. But surprisingly, when you arrive in his country, now you are his wife, he's like, you are not going to work. You're gonna stay here at home, take care of me, take care of the house. If he has good parents, you're gonna take care of his parents. No matter what reason this guy is gonna give you, do not accept. Cause some guys are doing that cause they know when you go to work, you gain your independency and maybe you won't follow whatever he tells you. It is going to be very difficult for him to control you. So when he is like, you can't work, be like, we talked about it. I must look for a job and stick to that. Look for a job. If he tells you he's going to divorce you because you want to look for a job, don't be scared. You're not the first person to get the divorce. Yes, I know going through a divorce, it is not an easy thing, but that shouldn't scare you. You should be courageous enough to stand for what you want in your life. Girl, I've told you, you come first. So the second exam, you found this guy on online dating apps, fell in love and then got married after getting married of course you have to relocate to his country so when you arrive in his country this guy allows you to work but on a condition that you are going to be giving him a half of your salary and even if you give him a half of your salary still he wants you to spend the whole money that you have remained with and then again the next month you go to work. 
this guy is very very clever if you find yourself in a situation like that you know that he clearly knows that without money you can't go anywhere without money you can't do anything you will stay under his control and benefit him because guys let's be honest so you working and giving him all the money that you get and you staying at home what's the difference it's the same 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 situation you don't have money it's time to wake up dear beautiful ladies and with this guys i always have examples because i'm dealing with women every single day they come with these situations so one day i think it was after new year called me a lady that i've been helping she's married married already to a white guy so this lady when she called me she was crying so so much i asked her what is going on because before we had talked and i advised her to look for a job she found a job thank god started working but unfortunately she was supposed to work at night so when she started the husband used to go and pick her because at the time when she finishes work it's late at night and no buses so she worked for almost three months but what is so so surprising she was working and at the same time the guy was taking her money and then one day abandoned her three at night she was calling him to come and pick her so the guy was like you can keep on calling but i'm not going to come thank god passed the police asked her what are you doing here three at night it's so so risky for a lady to stay at night on the road she was like i've been calling my husband but but he has said he is not coming the police felt sorry for her and returned her back home from there she couldn't again go back to work because no one to pick her so when i talked to her i was like that guy wants to use you he wants you to be a housewife that is why he is making it impossible for you to work so that you can stay under his control and save him just like his slave so i'm concluding on this do not fall in their trap if you get married always stand on your crown voice up and if you sense that in your search while you are on online dating apps better end it as soon as possible before you get yourself in trouble before you get used sign number seven or action number seven that will tell you if a guy on online dating apps is using you or is about to use you but this also is so common even in real life so you found this guy let's say on online dating apps or even in real life then you start like you are dating but never came out clear of his real intentions with you but same same guy will take your goodies if you give him the goodies and you'll keep on being like maybe because he's so nice with me he's gonna tell me tomorrow he's gonna invite me he's gonna introduce me to his family girl he will never do that because that guy is using you and i told you when i started this video when a guy is using you or is about to use you will never shout to you that i am using you but when you see a guy is not clear of his intentions keeps on writing to you keeps on being nice to you you know that he wants something from you he wants to use you that's it because a serious guy who wants a serious relationship let it be on online dating apps or even in real life will come out clear of his real intentions and to add on that guys on a guy who is using you is not clear of his real intentions he will always be available or he will always look for you when he needs you when he needs something from you let it be money if you've been giving him money let it be the goodies <laughs> so he will be available only during that time and some of them you will chat with them at the start of this year then june we all know here yeah, summer vacation starts then he will tell you i am coming to africa to see you you'll be over the moon he will come take the goodies won't show you any serious action <laughs> when he returns to his country it all ends there till the next vacation if he comes to africa he's gonna lie to you again and take the goodies or if you're living in the same city 
he will only look for you when he wants to take your goodies after that the guy is busy after that the guy has traveled after that he is nowhere to be seen <laughs> When you see that dear sister, just end it. Even if you give your goodies, better stop giving out your goodies to such kind of a guy because he is only a user. Guys, I think you know me already. When I start giving you tips, I want to keep giving tips, giving tips, giving tips. But for today, let us end it here. Thank you so much for watching till now. I really hope you enjoyed and learned something. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too. They are super good. Comment below what you think about this video. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao.